when, when somebody in the audience mentioned, well, why didn't you as black photographers back in the 50s and 60s come together and put together an exhibition? You know, I'm still bringing that question out there now. You know, um, recently, you know, I tried to bring something together with a group of photographers, and it's just so hard to get people to engage. And for me, as a photographer, I find that at times very frustrating because this is where I live, and I want to be part of the artistic community. And sometimes I feel disengaged. And so for me, going to New York, because although it's so far away, I'm always embraced as a part of that community. So that's where I get a lot of my energy from in order to keep going and producing my work. Um, even if it's of a, of a personal nature. Um, a few years ago, I did a piece on a compound maroons on indigenous people in Jamaica whose ancestors were the first free slaves. And, you know, I was surprised because a, a Rush Arts Gallery in Chelsea in New York picked up, a, picked up upon it right during the midst of the project. And it was something that I did over like two and a half years going back and forth. And it was a personal project. And I still haven't shown it over here. And, and at the moment, I'm sort of looking back at that work and that whole archive, because it was the first digital project I did. And like Liz mentioned earlier, it was frustrating for me at the time, because I was looking on a Mac screen trying to edit 2,000 images over two years. And it's something that, politically, I want to share, because it's a part of our history. It's a part of our, our our identity, and I've done some work with young people in schools, and that's what's missing. You know, it's missing as part of who we are as people, and how can you move forward if you don't know your history? Mm, I get a question in here. 